These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your soft modded or hard modded PS2 using OPL 0.9.3 or higher and play a particular game called Tekken Tag Tournament. Now, I had a user ask me, hey, does this game work on USB? I did the research. I tested it myself. Unfortunately, the answer is no. However, if you have a fat PS2 with an internal hard drive, yes, the game works. Or we can do what we're going to do today, which is the network method, which definitely works. And I'm using Windows 10 as an example. It's a great primer to this video. Uh, either you watch it before or after this particular video. I have a link in the video description where I made another tutorial that goes in slower detail that shows you how to use Windows 10, OPL, how to set up all the network settings correctly. I won't talk about that again in today's tutorial, but I want to sort of whiz through it a little bit quicker. So if you want um, you know, a slower paced video, by all means check the other one and broaden your horizon, so to speak. So the first thing is I have the game on my desktop. Uh, I ripped it and uh, here's a copy of the game. But notice that it's a bin and a queue file. Well, OPL doesn't read bin and queue files. So what do you do? So there's a program out there called OPL Manager. The latest link or version, excuse me, is version 21.2. I have a link in the video description where you can download it. So here's on my desktop. I'm going to extract it. Once that's done, uh, I made a, a dummy folder on my desktop called PS2 SMB just to make it easy. So that's what it's called. You can call it whatever you want. And then we'll use that as a path for OPL Manager to dump the games and the artwork and all that kind of stuff. So go to OPL Manager, run that guy, click on save, that's fine. Tell it where your network path is going to be. So I'm going to go to my desktop, select PS2 SMB, say OK, save. It's going to make all the folders, which is fine. Next thing we want to do is go to Tools, go to Disk slash Convert to ISO. Over here, select the, the radio button up here for bin, NRG, MDF image file, CDI to ISO. From image file, click on this open file button. Go to your desktop or wherever you have your game. Select that bin file, say open. Next uh, section here, go to browse. Tell it where you want to save it. So if you go to your desktop, for example, go into your PS2 SMB folder, go to the newly created CD folder, say save, okay, click on start. Now it's gonna do the conversion process, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so now that's done, I'm gonna exit that. I'm going to restart the OPL manager. It should detect the game now. Okay, cool. I want to tell it to go to batch, actions, art, download. And I'll just download just all this stuff. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, cool. We're good to go. And then um, we can close that. We can close that. So now we go back into my PS2 SMB folder. It has set up all the correct folder directory structure. The CD has this. If I go into the art folder, it has all the correct art. That's pretty good. So let's set up the sharing part of it real quick. Uh, so we right click the folder, go to properties, go to sharing. Um, I have set some of this up earlier, but let me go over it one more time. So click on share. And I'm going to delete this user here. So I'm going to say add a new user called guests, like so, case sensitive, add. And change the permission level to read and write, say share. Okay, say done. Now go to advanced sharing and say share this folder. Call it PS2 SMB after you do the add. Go to permissions. Make sure everyone has allow for that and say okay. Apply. Okay. And then last but not least, you can go to the network and sharing center. And let's go through my settings real quick here. So private mode is going to be turned on. This is on. This is on or allow actually. Guests are public. We're going to say on and on. And all networks is going to be on. 128 bit and turn off password protected sharing and save that guy. So you save that. And then last but not least, yeah, I know it's a lot of stuff, but last but not least, let's go back to control panel. Do 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 control panel. And then we're going to go to the network and sharing center, change adapter settings, find your ethernet cable, right click, go to properties, go to TCP IPv4 <clears throat> properties and set a following IP address, sell it to whatever you want. But I did 192.168.1.5, and this will be important when I go on my PS2. I'll show you exactly what that looks like. And uh, that looks good. 255, 255, 255, for something to mask. Default gateway, you can leave all that other stuff blank. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So we got the folder set up. 
We got the game properly named. It's properly ripped. We got the art files. That's all good. We got all the network files. That's all good too. So what I'm going to do is some people, they, they like to see the real thing. Do you want to see the network cable? Do you want to see the physical setup? That's perfectly fine with me. So what we're going to do in the next portion of the video tutorial, we're going to check it out. I'm going to show you my PS2 setup and show you that, yes, it is working. The game is loading great off of SMB or network. There's no lag issues. And it's a really great way to enjoy your game library. So with that said, let's do this. Okay, so this next portion of the video tutorial, I want to show you my PS2 setup. And for those that are curious, I'm going to be using component cables today. So here's my fat PS2. I got F FMCB installed. You could do this with a fat or a slim. And um, here we have my Ethernet cable with my network adapter. And I don't have any games in my current uh, PS2. And I don't have any internal hard drives at the moment. So we can see that I turned on the PS2. I've already preloaded into FMCB. So let me get my controller here. And let's go to open PS2 loader. And then it's going to automatically boot to my Ethernet screen because that's what I told it to do. But let me show you my settings real quick here. Okay, so if I press start, go to settings here. Here are my settings. So what I basically did was down here, I just made sure that Ethernet is set to auto. Default menu with Ethernet game, say OK. And then network config. Over here, this is where I said static. Here I gave my PS2 a static IP address, 192.168.1.10. Um, the mask here, <clears throat> 255.255.255.0. The gateway, this is my PC IP address, so I just did 192.168.1.5. Same thing for the DNS server. Down here for SMB server, make sure it says IP. Here you type in your PC IP address. So in my case is 192.168.1.5. Port is the same. Share, you gotta type it in manually. So I call that PS2 SMB. And then for the user, I call it guest. The exact same syntax, case sensitive on the computer as well. So capital G, lowercase U-E-S-T. So I said okay. And then say save changes. Once that is done, it should reboot or reload your network configuration. And now I press circle, I can go back to Ethernet games. Um, I saw some guides online where if you press triangle, um, if you want to have mode 6 on, that may help with loading your game, but it turns out with my testing, whether mode 6 was on or off, it didn't really matter, the game worked fine, so I'm going to say, I'm going to leave it on for example purposes, save changes. So now if I click on Tekken Tag Tournament, pressing X, it's going to load the game from the network. So this will take a little bit of time, it doesn't take too much time, but there we go, we got it loaded. It didn't freeze on any screens or anything like that or any colors. Um, in a second here, I will increase the volume of the game once we get to some action sequences. So we see that the in-game movie sequence is pretty smooth. It doesn't lag. Let's do arcade. Let's pick some characters here. And let's get ready to have a lot of good times. So, anyways, that is today's PS2 game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.